There's a great fear in the use of opioids. So many of the health workers fear that once we introduce morphine or any other form of opioid, we are going to create a group of possible addicts, that this is a medicine that you cannot effectively use within society. It's a very, very dangerous medicine. So that has been a big, big contributor because of that uncalled for fear of use of opium. What has happened is that uh, we've learned to use morphine or the opioids very, very well, but that skill development has been blocked by the fear of opioids becoming a, uh, a problem of, of criminal intent and, and, uh, or addictions. Opiophobia exists. I see it routinely in my practice as I uh, relate to other doctors. I see it frequently more powerfully among patients. There's such a huge social fear of the use of pain medications that often, even when medicines are made available, patients and their family caregivers are afraid to use them. I've had a lot of concerns where I didn't want to take the medications because of you know, fear and you know, ignorance. We have pharmacies that will not stock the drugs because they're afraid of um, robberies related to the drug. Uh, we have healthcare professionals who are spending time now learning about how to assess a patient as an addict instead of learning how to treat pain. I don't know where it comes from, where the message was so strongly given that this drug has the power to change someone fundamentally. When you talk to the patients, they say, well, I'm afraid I'm going to become an addict. And it would be, you know, worse to be an addict than to die of cancer. And these are real statements from real people. So you move that from this environment where, and a culture that has been so strongly focused on the negative aspects of drugs that it's very hard in the setting of a patient having a medical illness to then convince them that there's a positive element to these drugs. The analogy I like to use in teaching is a little old lady from Sussex who has led a perfectly normal life gets a taste of morphing and becomes a wild addict who steals the television sets to get her drug. That does not happen. The drug does not have the power to change people in that way. <laughs>